So I think it's no secret that if you're in a mid to plus size body, if you have any kind of thunder thighs whatsoever, chafing is straight from the devil. And I've actually been wanting to do this video for a while. I thought it'd be really fun to gather some of the popular top anti-chafing shorts brands, test them out on camera for you. I get a lot of questions about not only like what comfy bike shorts I wear, but also like what bike shorts do I wear underneath skirts, dresses, etc. And I thought it'd be fun. I did a little bit of research. I gathered some of the most popular things that I had seen online. I'm gonna go into detail about how much each of them costs, how they fit. I'm gonna kind of like walk around a little bit you know we love my flailing here on this channel obviously because you can pretty much tell if a pair of chub rub shorts bike shorts whatever are gonna roll down or roll up within like two steps of wearing them you just you know your destiny right then and there I'm gonna specifically be covering things that are marketed as anti-chafing you know things like that because you can obviously put on like any pair of bike shorts it doesn't have to be this but I thought it might be fun to try out because you know I get some questions about it and we're gonna all experience this together. All I know is I don't ever want to chafe again. It's the worst thing in the entire world. So we're going to go through, I think I have four different brands here. I was waiting on a fifth, but it did not arrive in time. It is lost in the mail. We'll get into that, but um, let's try on some anti-chafing shorts. My job is the best. So the first one we are going to be covering is called the NYX. The brand is called NYX. I believe I follow them on Instagram. They are called the Shorty Thigh Saver Short, which... Like my thighs need saving, honestly. I got these in a size extra large. This is what the packaging looks like. It came in like a nice little envelope with this, this, and the receipt, that's it. This is just a garment bag that you can put the shorts into and then you wash the whole bag and it just helps, I guess, preserve the life of the shorts in the wash. So these shorts come in five different shades of nude, which is a huge thing that I wanted to touch on for this video because nude doesn't equal beige. Like nude can be many different colors for many different skin tones. So yeah, these come in five different shades of nude. As I mentioned, they also have a wide range of different skin colors on their models, which I really appreciated on the website. It's claiming that these are anti chain sweat proof and seamless. These were $36 and these are offered from a size small to a size 3XL. So I'm gonna open up this little paper bag here. Ooh, it's like Christmas. So here we have it. Ooh, okay. First impressions, we're just gonna jump right into it. They feel very thin, which I greatly appreciate. They have kind of like a little bit of extra fabric here at the top that I think is just supposed to help it from rolling down, hopefully. That's usually my biggest problem when wearing bike shorts like this is because they just roll on down and then suddenly you're sitting there with your belly out and you're like. So yeah, these are the shorter lengths. I believe they have two to three lengths on their website. I'm really excited to try these on. I can't believe that I'm gonna be trying these on on the internet, but you know what? That's just life. Like, this is my destiny. I really wanna show like the full process. So, okay, here's what they're like going on because Y'all, we know that's half the battle. So far, it feels okay. Let's put on the second leg. Ooh. All right, so as a general overview, here is what the first pair looks like. Like a pretty standard bike short, undershort, whatever you wanna call it. I like that this has this sort of like extra little thickness here at the top because I do think that that's what's gonna help keep it up. It also has that little bit of extra hold on the bottom here as well, like on the bottom of the shorts because a lot of times the shorts roll up if they're this like thin kind of spandexy material. So I think that's what these extra seams are for, which I greatly appreciate. That means they know what they're doing. They know what we're looking for. They're listening to us. I really like the length of these as well because a lot of times I will wear like a shorter dress and that I'm sitting there constantly like pulling up my bike shorts, trying to like tuck it under. So this is gonna prevent chafing while also not sticking out under the bottom, which I love. Okay, let's do a little quick walk around and then we'll like see. <laughs> love this for me. Move around a little bit. Oh yeah, get into it. I just ate lunch, so doesn't feel right. Bend over, come back up. This is actually staying put. I'm shocked. Usually from like where I'm getting dressed to the door, like those things are rolling down and these are holding put. I think it's like this extra seam is the trick. Wow, I am very impressed. Well worth $36 in my opinion, especially if it's gonna be something that you wear like every day. If you go to work or if you're at school and you have to wear a uniform or something, I feel like this is something definitely worth looking into. I'm pretty pleased with this so far. I feel like we're setting the bar really high and this was the brand that I was like the most looking forward to, so 
We'll see what happens from here. Next, we have a brand called Under Summers, I believe. Yes, Under Summers is what they're called. I just Googled like anti-chafing shorts and this brand popped up. And these are called the Original Shortlet. Very interesting. So these are in a size extra large as well. I believe I ordered a size XL in all of these. This is a very interesting material. This brand has a lot of different color options available and also a lot of different sizes. I did want to note that on the website, it is mostly white models, but they did sprinkle in a little bit of diversity here and there. Just thought that I need to mention it because it's something that I'm now noticing moving forward. I want to continue to use my platform to speak up because you know, it's important for, for every one to be represented when you're looking for a brand. Some of the different styles that they offer are swim, lace, maternity, pockets, etc. These were $35. It says on their website that it is a non-compression, non-shapewear fit, and it's made for comfort, and there's the seam-free inner thigh. They offer sizes small to 4XL, and I chose, because I tried to keep these all within the same kind of like beige tone, just so I had a little bit of a baseline to compare it to, so we're gonna check these out. Under Summers, here we go. This is such an interesting material. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I don't know if these are meant to be high rise just because like I I'm feeling a little crotch wedgy coming on. And I will say that like it is a non-compression short, so it says that it's made for comfort, which I really appreciate. I actually really like that part about this brand because a lot of times you might just be looking for something to wear under a dress to save your thighs a little bit and you're getting like sucked in in the gut. And sometimes it's not a good feeling. So I appreciate that about this branding a lot. Like they're like, listen, we just want you to be comfortable. We're not trying to suck you in. Here is what they look like. They're definitely, you know, see-through. I'm wearing like beige underwear underneath to hopefully kind of like not show all of my bits. And they are a bit looser right here. And I think that that has everything to do with, like they said, just being designed for comfort. But I think as a result, I could probably size down to a large just because I'd be afraid like while walking around that these would maybe like fall off because they are pretty loose. You're able to like, you know, pull these down more. I guess if you wanted to even, you could like wear them down a little bit lower and then they'd be kind of more of like an actual bike short look. The only thing that I could see maybe being a little bit of a downfall to the comfort over compression thing is that when you're moving around, like see this for example, it's like, I mean, this movement, are you jealous? But when you're moving around, it automatically like starts falling down. And then like if you're walking or doing something where it requires you to move around a lot, like this is just gonna completely roll down, you know? So that's just something to keep in mind, but it totally depends what you're looking for in an anti-chafing short. Some people might just be looking for something that like only deals with the thighs. They don't care if the stomach rolls down. And then some people are like, absolutely not. I need to be held in up here as well. So I am sort of leaning more towards the like compression thing just cause I want it to stay put and not move around but you totally may be on the other side of the coin. I'm gonna keep these and maybe just have them to like lounge around the house in. They might be good for sleeping, honestly. I've been wearing bike shorts to sleep sometimes recently because I wanna wear shorts, I wanna stay cool, but I also like don't wanna chafe. It's even uncomfortable sometimes for me to just wear, like, wear my pajama shorts. So this might be another great option as well. But moving on, next we have a brand called Thigh Society, which is such a cute name. I'm really jealous I didn't think of that. And these are called the Anti-Chafing Slip Short. It says right here in the package that it hugs your curves, it has all over moisture wicking, lightweight and breathable, smoothing every way stretch, modesty coverage, it has a cotton gusset, no riding up and no digging in, no panty lines. I'll be the judge of that. I made a note that when I was shopping for these on the website, I noticed a lot of different ages and races and body sizes. They also had pregnant women. We love inclusivity. It also says opening this up right here that this pouch is 100% recyclable. Yes, even the zipper. Wow, I'm already a big fan. Big, big fan. These are also $36. They come in sizes small, medium to five, six XL. So it's like small, medium, large, extra large, etc., etc. It goes up to five slash six XL. So this is the newest short that they offer called the staple. They had several to choose from. I will say on their website, there was very limited stock. They are available in short, middle and long lengths for the shorts, which I don't think any other brand offered three different lengths. So that's really incredible. I ordered these in a size XL slash 2XL. I can't remember if I said this, but I went for the mid length because they didn't have my size in any of the short length. So we're kind of like veering a little bit, but I'm really excited. These feel so <laughs> stretchy. Staple anti-chafing shorts. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Oh, like 
When they say stretchy, they mean stretchy. Wowee. I was not prepared for this. I'm gonna like hike these up a little bit because I don't want them to be this long. Okay. <laughs> I have some thoughts. Here's what they look like. Here's a little side view. It's super, super stretchy, but I just want to show you, like, if I were to put it at the length that, like, it wanted to be, it would be over my boobs. I'm... I don't know why it needs to be this high. Also, they are, this is the mid-length short, and when I wear it like kind of the way it's supposed to be worn, it's very long, so I'd be really curious to see what the long length looks like. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know if you see panty lines, but I feel like, I mean, I know I feel them. I don't know if you can see them. I really love the branding of this company. I love the message behind it. I love the inclusivity. I really wanted to get the short size in my size. But you could always just hike these up and a lot of people are looking for a longer kind of like going to your knees, especially for things like midi dresses, maxi dresses. So these are gonna be perfect for that. And honestly, like now that I think about it, I always want something to be more high-waisted. Like anytime something's high-waisted, I'm like, it could be more. And so now I feel like I have just my dream pair. It goes all the way up to your bra, probably for like the smoothing thing that they mentioned. I think that these can all be used for different things and different reasons. They've put a lot of thought into this. You know, they have the cotton right in the gusset. I feel like these are gonna be really handy because they are staying put, like they're not going anywhere. And when I'm wearing like a long skirt, these are gonna be a dream. Yeah, they're not moving. They are like literally not moving. We Okay, and then moving along to the very last pair, which is by the iconic brand Spanx. These are called the Spanx Everyday Shaping Mid-Thigh Short. And even though this is technically shapewear, it is marketed as a thigh friction remedy. So I thought that was very interesting. I mean, it's, it got me to buy it. And before I open the product and get into that, I do have to say that I noticed on the website, it is very like skinny focused, quote unquote. They have a lot of products that are named things like thin stinks and skinny britches. And it's definitely like not body positive at all. They do carry sizes small to 3XL, but they don't feature models of any other body type other than thin on their website. They only offer the color nude and black and obviously nude is in a one size fits all color. They should rename their products things like ivory or sand, you know, names like that besides nude. And then there's a black shade. So there's nothing for their customers that are in a darker skin tone. Sometimes you do want something that's a little bit more close to your skin tone or that type of shade. And so that's something that I just wanted to note. I was a little bit disappointed in the branding, but I did want to try them out for this video. So here we go. These were originally $35, but I got them on sale for 24. Okay, so here is what they look like. Just come on this little hanger here. So let's take this off. Yeah, you know, I'm reading the tag and it's like, smooth your second skin, shape your targeted support, sculpt your total transformation. I understand that that's what a lot of people are looking for, but I also love that these other brands are just like, hey, wear this if you don't want to chafe. And this is like, snatch your waist. Like, I don't know. It just feels different than the other brands. They feel like they're gonna be the most compressive of all for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> these are tight. Okay, whew. These actually, you know what? These aren't as like tightening or, or sculpting or whatever as I thought. It's very comfortable. Like it's not anything other than just like a stretchy fabric right here. It's like definitely supportive. It's like wearing a really supportive pair of like bike shorts or leggings, a more athletic style. So it's not uncomfortable. I would totally be able to wear this all day. But here is what they look like. Here's what they look like from the side. I will say that this quality does feel good. Something to note is that it was the most affordable because it was on sale, but I feel like if you spend, you know, $11 more, you're getting like inclusive branding, seeing models of all different skin tones and shapes and sizes and ages, and you're supporting a company that aligns with the same ideals as you, you know? Everybody is worthy and beautiful. You don't need to be thin stinked or think skinny or whatever they said. These are advertised as an anti-chafing short, which I do believe that they would do very well. I just, I get confused about shapewear sometimes because I'm under the belief that shapewear is a personal choice. You can do whatever you want. I've done a video on shapewear before. I think that it's a personal choice, just like shaving or putting on fake tan or putting on makeup or whatever. But I do wish that shapewear wasn't as designed towards like thin and sculpt and skinny and just more like if you want to feel more smooth or if you want to chafe less or whatever. I don't know. Those are just my, my personal thoughts. Don't come for me. But these do feel high quality. I will give them that. And here we go. I'll like walk around a little bit. Do like a little 
bendy. These aren't moving around, so that's a good sign. I think they would definitely, especially because they're more compressive, I think they would stay in place very well. So it's your money. You can do whatever you want with it, but I do think that there are better options available that are more inclusive, that are more focused on like the relief from chafing than like what you look like. You know what I mean? I also wanted to mention that the reason I made this video, like the whole reason, was because I had seen some of my UK friends talk about a brand called Snag Tights, and I was so excited. They're like known for their tights, but they've also created a type of short called a chub rub short and I was really excited to try them but I think because of COVID my package either got lost in the mail or hasn't arrived yet and I ordered it about a month ago so I will unfortunately not be able to cover them in this video which I was really excited about but maybe we'll have to do a part two you'll have to let me know. If I had to rate them as far as like performance, like, you know, how I feel they actually work and their functionality and stuff, even though I would use different ones for different things and I will keep all of these and wear them, I would say my favorite is probably the first one, which is NYX. Then probably these, just because they're more my length, they definitely feel good. Then probably the Thigh Society, the really stretchy ones for like underneath maxis and middies, and then the undersummers, which are all still great. But if I had to rank them in order, that's probably what I would choose. We've got some great options and god i hope i never chafe again after this prayers up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time i post a new video let me know if there are any other anti-chafing shorts or brands that you've seen advertised that you want to see me try out because this has been a ball i might have to do a follow-up with the last pair that i was waiting on or maybe try some smaller brands or maybe some major retailers i don't know let me let a girl know i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one